Hey everybody, this is Mr. Lee. I'm your math teacher for statistics, uh, spring, uh, first half of the semester, uh, 2021. Uh, it's the start of a new year, uh, but we are still stuck in the middle of a pandemic. Um, a lot of us are stuck at home. We have limited access to campus, um, but I wanted to take a second uh, and tell you that your academic progress is still very important to us here at Forsyth Tech. It's very important to me as your instructor. I want to see you be successful. I want to see you reach your academic goals. Uh, I wanted you to know that I'm here to support you, um, and we also have a lot of resources on campus. We're offering uh, free remote tutoring, which is a great resource for this class. It's a resource I'm hoping a lot of you will take advantage of. Uh, so. Uh, you can still stay on track and reach your academic goals. You can be successful in this class. Um, the primary purpose of this video is to look at the platform that we're using this semester uh, and the procedures for the class so that you can really focus in on the course content, I'm expecting this to take about 10 minutes. So I do have a quick uh, outline over here. Um, our course moves quickly. This is an eight-week course. It ends at the beginning of March, March 3rd. Um, so I uh, want you to budget your time well. You have an assignment due about every night, and we're going to look at the pacing guide here in a second. Um, so I am not on the landing page. Uh, when you go into our Blackboard page, you land on the coursework tab. Um, and I'm in uh, instructor view right now, uh, but there is a tab for announcements that I send out periodically. Uh, there's a start here button, which will, has a nice portrait of me right here. Uh, it'll include this video and you know once I finish recording it. Uh, and then there's the course entry assignment. The course entry assignment is very important. It does not count for a grade, but you have to do it or you will be automatically withdrawn from the class. It doesn't take very long to do. Please take the time to complete the course entry assignment. Uh, it, I, I gotta have it, so do it today. After you finish this video, knock it out today. I budgeted today for you to go and complete this course entry assignment so you don't get withdrawn. Um, Collaborate Ultra is here. This is a uh, video conferencing platform that we can meet if you need to, if you reach out. Uh, course schedule and policies are here. Um, most of that's covered in the syllabus, but sometimes I need to hand other documents to you, and that's the place I can do it. Again, you'll spend most of the time in the coursework tab. Um, instructor contact is here. Uh, campus resources are here. Uh, this includes a link to the Learning Center. Again, the Learning Center is offering free online tutoring with expert tutors from our college. They, they know what's up. It's a great resource. It's a great way to improve your grade. Uh, Blackboard tools, uh, the discussion board, the only discussion board we're doing is the course entry assignment. My grades, you can see your grades in the class. Okay, I want to focus in on the syllabus for a few minutes. Um, so I got some contact information here. My email address is the best way to get in touch with me. Uh, my uh, department chair's contact information is here. Uh, this is an asynchronous class. We do not have group meeting times. Uh, make sure you complete the course entry assignment. Just go knock it out today. I budgeted today for you to go do it. Uh, we'll be using Blackboard and MyOpen Math. MyOpen Math is integrated with Blackboard. There's only one logon. You log on to Blackboard and you can access everything. Um, there's no textbook to purchase. Uh, your textbook and videos and assignments are all integrated into Blackboard. You do need a graphing calculator. Uh, TI-83 Plus is great. Um, you can find these on eBay. Uh, you can find them on eBay for 20 bucks if you shop around. Uh, the best place I know of to get them in person if you live in Winston is uh, the McKay's Bookstore, which is um, Here in Winston, you can. I don't know how to give you directions to it, but uh, I think they're they're about as low as forty bucks there. You can find them as low as twenty bucks on uh, eBay. You, you need a book. You need the calculator. Um, the first few sections you can get by without the TI-83 Plus, but we use some functions in the calculator that will be very difficult to do by hand. 
Uh, so by the time we get to the binomial theorem, uh, you really want to have that graphing calculator. You know, the normal distribution, confidence intervals, you need the functions that are in the calculator. So go ahead and work out a plan to get one. Okay, course descriptions here, learning outcomes. We use the 10 point grading scale. Now, how is your grade going to be calculated? This is an eight week course. You have four exams. You have an exam every uh, that's due every other Saturday. They're worth 8% each. Your homework, which we will look at a homework assignment here in a minute, is 40% of your grade. Lab assignments, you have two homework assignments each week, two lab assignments each week. That is 28% of your grade. We're going to look at some examples here in a minute. Okay, there's no extra credit. We, we only have eight weeks together, so please stay on top of the work. I, I don't like to give extensions because I've had so many students that just drown with an extension. They get you know, a few assignments behind and they, they just don't have a way to catch back up. Uh, so please stay on top. I don't want to see you drown. Uh, but if you have extenuating circumstances, please keep me in the loop. Send me an email. Let me know what's going on. Uh, I can work with you if you keep me in the loop, if you keep me informed. Uh, attendance, if you miss more than four assignments, uh, you can be withdrawn from the course. I do not like to withdraw students if they still have a path to success. But if you have missed too much work to be able to be successful on this course, it is in your best interest to withdraw. And if you're not going to do it, I'll, I'll do it for you. Okay, disability information. This is some information from the Dean's Office about um, asynchronous advantages and disadvantages to uh, an asynchronous course like this. Okay, course schedule. Uh, and this week is a little different uh, because today your primary goal is to just complete the course entry assignment so you don't automatically get withdrawn. Uh, and so you have a lab that's due on Friday. This is the only uh, day, only week, that we will have something due on Friday. Normally, let's just look at a regular week. We also have Martin Luther King Day coming up, which kind of makes the schedule a little different. But normally, you have assignments due Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So that is a homework assignment on Monday and Wednesday, then a lab assignment on Tuesday and Thursday. That's due 11.55 p.m., then every other week you have an, an exam. The exams are not cumulative. They are not cumulative. They're four independent exams covering the material since the last test. So test two is on this stuff right here, binomial distribution, uniform distribution, normal distribution, the central limit theorem. Uh, so even test four, it's just on the material covered since test three. Uh, and then test four is on a Wednesday. That's the last day of the semester. you got to complete it then because I have to turn in grades that next morning. I, ha I have to do it. So if you don't have it done, I have to give you a zero. There's no other real choice. Um, let's take a look at what a homework assignment looks like. So I'm in coursework. And i got some features going on here because I'm an instructor view that you won't have. Um, so... Here, Tuesday. Here's the required reading for the first topic. First topic is collecting data. Here's the overview videos. Now the overview videos sometimes get a little technical and so I've, I've added some extra videos. Uh, the extra videos have a lot of calculator help, like what buttons you need to be pressing in the ca calculator to do certain things. So take the time to do the readings and the videos. I have a video under the start here tab about success in online math classes and talks about setting the table. You know, if you want to have a good meal, you need to take the time to set the table first. All right, a good meal is not just trying to dump, jump into a pot. You need everything, you know, not just jumping into a soup pop and shoveling everything in your mouth. If you're skipping the readings and the videos, and just jumping right into the assignment, that's like just trying to shove a bunch of soup in your mouth right out of the pot. You're gonna, you're gonna get sick. It's not gonna go well. It's not gonna end pretty. 
Uh, take the time to set the table. Take the time to, sp to spend time with the readings and the videos before jumping into an assignment. It might sound trivial, but I've taught this class for 10 years and I can tell you it makes a difference. Spending time with the material, taking notes, planning on watching videos twice before you jump into the homework assignment makes a world of difference. So let's just take a look at the first homework assignment. It's 20 questions long. Assignments are usually 20 to 30 questions. Uh, you get unlimited attempts. So here's the first uh, problem. This one also has video helps, which is great. Um, let's submit it. Oh, I got the question wrong. I submitted it blank. Of course, I got the question wrong. I can click try another similar question. You get unlimited attempts. It doesn't matter how many times you try. Let's see here, the sample size is 20, population is 94. When you get the question correct, you get full credit. Unlimited attempts for full credit. And your homework grade is the, it's 40% of your grade. It's weighted more than any other category. So students with strong homework grades do really well in the class. Give yourself the space and support you need for strong homework grades. Students that, again, students that have strong homework grades always do well in the class. Now, some of these questions are hard. Some of these questions are time consuming. Please give yourself the time and space, the support and space you need to be successful. Okay, unlimited attempts. I wanna see strong homework grades. Let's talk about lab assignments. And the first lab is a little different, just the, the nature of the content. It's multi, mostly multiple choice. So let's, let's scroll down a bit. Let's look at this probability lab. Here's the probability lab. All right, this lab is eight questions. This is a little bit on the longer side. Notice at the bottom of the lab, well, let's talk about this first. Notice it says this is attempt one of three. You get up to three attempts on the lab, but only the last attempt is recorded. That means if you get a 90 on the first attempt and a 70 on the second attempt, it is the 70 that's recorded in the grade center. Only your last attempt is recorded. Also, uh, for each lab, you have to show your work for the last question. This includes any calculator commands. Easiest way to do this is to jot it down on a sheet of paper, pull out your cell phone, snap a picture of it with your cell phone, and to upload that file right here. Now, the computer cannot automatically grade your picture. The computer is not that smart. <clears throat> so I have to manually grade those pictures. I try and do that within 24 hours of the assignment being due. But if you have, uh, let's see, there's um, 90 total points. If you have a, on this lab, if you have a 70 out of 90 on this lab, because I haven't had a chance to sit down and uh, grade the picture because the assignment's not due yet, it, it's going to show up as a 70 out of 90 in the grade center. He's got to give me time to sit down and look at your picture. Again, I try to do it within 24 hours. That can, that can, frust that can be frustrating to students. Um, okay. Uh, let's check the pace. Let's see. Test. I need to talk about the test. Let's just pull up one of the exams. You have only one attempt on each exam. Here's test three that will do. Uh, tests are due, oh, one more thing I want to point out. For the homework and the labs, the due date and time is always posted up here on the right. Uh, and this due date and time adjusts for your time zone. So if you're joining us from uh, Japan, it will show a, you know, your time and your, and your time zone. Okay. The test. Let's look at test three together. All right, 
Uh, the test is about 14 questions. I think there's a few that are 15 questions, actually. You have a two-hour time limit. You get one attempt on the test. Let's just, again, it warns you about the time limit. Yeah, yeah. There's a timer in the top that tells you how much time is remaining. You see all of the questions at once. You can submit the test once. There's a submission button down here at the bottom. Uh, all of the test questions come directly from the homework, homeworks and the labs. So again, strong homework grades always translate into strong grades in the class. So uh, that's everything I wanted to chat with you about. Please reach out if you have any questions or concerns. I'm happy to help.